go to her. Be with her. Leave this world behind. Atlas! Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look at my action adventure games for my Sony PlayStation Portable. Near the end of its life, with over 76 million sold worldwide, the PSP for me was known more for its RPG games than anything else. Not to say that there weren't fantastic games for each genre. The main issue for me was the analog nub that was widely used for movement in most of their games. For me, that nub was extremely painful, especially after long plays and I had a lot more fun with slower end games like the JRPGs where I was always able to move freely without the pain in my thumb soon after. Doesn't mean that I didn't try and love certain action adventure games that was well worth the pain due to just being very good games. Here is my collection of PSP action adventure games I will always favor on the PSP when my thumb is up to the task. God of War Chains of Olympus was developed by Ready at Dawn and released by Sony Computer Entertainment in 2008. Believe it or not, this was the first God of War game that I ever played, since at that time I already had moved on to the Xbox and Ninja Gaiden in 2004, which was a big mistake with the PS2 still breathing life and hammering out awesome games. As my true first action adventure game on the PSP, I was amazed with its visuals. Sound and overall presentation from such a small screen was awesome. I was more moved as the story involved Kratos fighting to be reunited with his daughter. I still do not want to continue the game as it makes you forsake your daughter in order to save her and the world. Gaming at its best with a complete story, excellent presentation, with all areas for a triple A title, just portable instead. Grayson, you are here because of your field experience. I need you, but we are here to find out what they are doing. You British, always wanting to blow things up. It will not work here. Hey, I'm okay with that. Look around all you want, but when you're done, this place is going up. Resistance Retribution was developed by SIE Blend Studio and released by Sony Computer Entertainment in 2009. Off the heels of Chains of Olympus, I had to try out yet another action shooter that also pushed the tech on the PSP. Biggest concern I had was with the dual analog sticks used for most 3D third person games at the time. Resistance solved that problem with the action buttons like triangle, square, X and circle, acting as a second analog moving the player's view up, down, left or right. Extremely hard to pull off normally. But the game also featured auto lock to help in its aiming of the enemy. This feature alone changed the fun as I usually rarely looked up or down and kept it left or right for the most part playing in this fast action cover based shooting with ease. The story is well done and the voice actors and overall presentation was great but I was more surprised how far they pushed the PSP in all this 3D action shooter. Addicting gameplay, the game was just well done overall with the player in mind to ease their pain making the controls that much easier to use.
cover, Molly. God of War, Ghost of Sparta, also developed by Ready at Dawn and released by Sony in 2010, was the game to show off to your friends that the PSP can still muster and bring out incredible games. Similar in every way to other God of Wars, this title takes everything they did in Chains of Olympus and improves on it from the visuals, sound, interactions, and presentation. The only issue I had was the story, which wasn't as detrimental to Kratos, like in Chains of Olympus. Hard to compete with such a heartache of a story, but still well done and is my favorite game on the PSP for pushing the system literally to its maximum effort. I still play the game today, hoping my thumb can take the intense action and platforming, and just being Kratos was worth the pain of admission. That's it for me on this episode on looking back at my favorite portable, the PSP. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg take us out of here and I will see you all next upload. With her last breath, she released the weight of her burden and finally found the peace she had long sought. But for Kratos, the rage was almost palpable. Fate had once again pushed him to the brink of madness.